Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, uh, I got something really cool on the table by way of Scott Williams over at Big Bore Knife and Gear. This is, well, clearly, this is the Hogue Extreme Series folding knife. But really, what this is, is a very early generation of the EX-01. Now, this is a fantastic pocket knife. I've held a bunch of them. I haven't owned one, although I do have a fair amount of Hogue knives. What is going on with my camera today? Hang on just a second. What are we doing? Let me get this straight. Hang on just a second. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, EX-01 is a fantastic knife. I have a bunch of different Hogues. Of course, my favorite, believe it or not, is the Deca, right? Well-made, comfortable. It's got their Able Lock, right? In fact, as a day-to-day -day user, I prefer this over the Bug Out by quite a bit. I don't know why. Uh, I prefer CPM20CV. This handle is a little thicker. It's a little heavier than the Bug Out. But anyway, my point is that I have had a bunch of Hogues. I really have. But this is one I have not had before. Now, I've held these. I just haven't bought one. And I gotta, I gotta say, now that I've had this around the house for a while, I don't know why. And maybe it's because EX-01 is not nearly as cool a name as Folding Knife Extreme Series Hogue. I'm, I'm just saying. Maybe they gave something up when they renamed this. <laughs> but anyway. This is before the EX series, but it's the same knife. It is G Mascus. It is 154 CM blade steel. It is a really aggressive and cool looking Tanto, which I really like. Uh, it has fantastic ergonomics, right? It's got two piece frame, right? Of the G Mascus, right? With this sort of open backspace here. You can see that it's open through there. It is their button lock. And this one is broken in just beautifully. Really works. Snaps right open. As I said, very comfortable. I um, I may have to get one of these. <laughs> Damn it, Scott. Oh, hey, also, if you guys haven't checked out uh, Big Boy Knife and Gear, I will put a link in the description. You can do that at your leisure. So, let's do some basic specs. The one thing about these hogs that I don't like, I don't particularly love their big, giant spoon clips. But you know what? Tis a small thing. Now this is an older gen. You got the uh, you can do tip down or tip up. Tip down is the wrong way. Tip up is the right. Look, you can do it any way you want, but I prefer this way, which is good. Um, it is not lefty compatible, which is kind of a drag. But because um, it's a button lock, right? So it's mostly right hand anyway. Although you can just as easily with a little practice, right? I'm not left handed, but you can do it left-handed fairly easily, right? So it's a shame that you can't left-hand this pocket clip. All right, basic specs. We are looking at... Doo -doo -doo. We line that up. One, two, three. Uh, point, point four, three point four inches of cutting on three and a half inches of uh, 154 cm. The grip area from behind that swell is one, two, three, and three quarters, which, you know, I'm counting from behind here because you really don't want to bring your fingers forward beyond that. So back here, and if you look, it just fits my hand like it was made for it. So if you've got good size hands, you're going to be very comfortable. But of course, if you have smaller hands, it's going to be good for you as well. It's got some jimping back here into the Gmascus, which does offer a nice amount of grip. And it's got it up here as well as some good rounded but grippy, oddly grippy, chimping on the blade as well. That's very cool. The knife overall is just shy of eight inches. I'm going to say that is 7.9 inches. Yeah, I mean, we are just about a tenth of an inch shy on this side. Closed profile, excuse me, closed length, coming in at four and a half, which is really nice. And of course, in the pocket, because it's thumb stud deployed, yeah, just 
just shy of an inch and a half. So we're coming up on an inch and a half, right? And yet, there's nothing really sharp. You can hear it a little bit, but this is Gmascus. It's not going to tear into whatever's in your pocket. This is a great carry. I really like it. Let's do some other size comparisons just for giggles so we know exactly what we're talking about here. Let's see. What do we have hanging around? Well, we already did the bug out, so we'll do the, I mean, the, and the, uh, the DECA. We'll do the DECA again in honor of Hogue. As you can see, it is a step up from the DECA in size. Equally well made, though. Here it is against the uh, Yojumbo. As you can see, it's considerably smaller than that. And our old friend, the full size Presidio 2 from Benchmade. And again, if the DECA or Bug Out is a little small for you, and something like the Presidio 2 is a little too big, these EX01 series knives, this is the three and a half, right? They make a three, a three and a half, and I think even a four inch uh, would be just perfect. And these are all equally comfortable in hand. They do make a black version of this, by the way. This thing's real party piece, though, is... Well, I mean, the party piece really is the Ergos. I mean, it's ridiculously comfortable in hand. Even if you don't like a Tanto, they make a drop point. So it's there for you as well. But it's really this action. This thing is wicked good. Wicked good, I said. I don't even know why I did that. Sorry. Just the same. It's very nice. And it looks good. I'm not a huge green knife guy. But the G-Mascus on this is just pretty. It's sort of camo-ish without being overly done. Now it does have a secondary lock. They do do this on some of their knives. And when you do that, you cannot deploy the button to release it. Uh, I'm not a big secondary lock guy. Um, but the nice thing about this one is it's tight enough in the frame that you don't have to worry about setting it off accidentally. And the button lock is without fail. That's It's just really cool. <laughs> Scott, my man, if you're watching this, thank you so much. This is an Elishwitz design. Uh, he has designed a ton of Hoag's stuff uh, and many other knives as well. USA made, again, 154 CM. It is hard to go wrong with this knife. Anything else I want to compare it against? Nah, let's weigh it. See what we come in at. You know, it's funny. It, it, by the way, oh, I, there's a dimension we didn't do yet. Um, we are coming in at its thickest at yeah we are right on the half inch mark so it's about a half inch thick so it's got some some mass to it this way but the reason that is is look at the look at that chunk of blade i love the shape right this is all swedged out but it is a nice thick slice of 154 cm this knife's been around a while i don't know where scott got this one but it's still got a really nice edge on it. Whatever else they do, they do a good job on their 154 CM and their CPM 154 and all the other blade steels that they do. Hogue is just a really good knife company. Um, they make excellent parts for other things, stocks and grips and accessories. Uh, when they decided to make knives, they decided to take no prisoners. All right, let's see where we weigh out at. 4.4 ounces. That is not insignificant. Uh, by way of example, the full-size Yojumbo here is, what, just an ounce heavier? I mean, anyway, it's a fairly, it's a, it's a fairly thick boy. So I'm going to guess this is not Nick Shabazz's favorite knife. <laughs> it's a little big and a little heavy for him, but I like it. I really do. Look at the way the Gmascus is milled along these edges. Right. Now, this is a forced choil, the way it's shaped. It is rightly done for my hand. It holds me in a really good spot. That might be less great if you have hands that aren't the size of mine. But I haven't heard any complaints, so, you know, there's that. Anyway, this, and again, thank you, Scott. I really appreciate it has been the huh, Folding Knife Extreme Series Hogue, the cutting edge of art, design, and manufacturing. Okay. However, today this knife is known as the EX-01. This is the 3.5. 
If you're interested, I'll post a link to Knife Center or Knifeworks or somebody who's got one down in the description below. You can check them out yourself. And I will also, again, post that link to Scott's channel. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you next time.